the theme for the birthday trip is karma reversal. Karma is reversible. What is karma? Karma is destiny. To give you a very simple explanation, somebody uh, becomes a blue-collar job person and somebody becomes uh, a professor, somebody becomes a surgeon, somebody becomes a lawyer. Why? What motivates them to do? What motivates them to become what they become? It's karma. And how did it all start? It started not when you came here. Even before you came here, you just uh, decided that you are, this is what you are going to do. And then you end up doing the thing while you come, uh, when you came, come here. And it, so, it seems so real to you to go and do hard work and get paid very little money or no money sometimes. And then there are some people who do not even work. They inherit a lot or do a job. Uh, which does not hmm, involve any hard work, but then plenty of money. It's all due to karma. One main reason why I'm here on this earth plane is to teach about karma to people. And then I started it at a very early stage. That's why I came up with the phrase karma busting. Uh, mantra and other uh, practices to bust karma of a person. So karma is reversible. So I'm going to uh, give you new teachings on karma reversal. You can reverse the karma that has not yet mm, attacked you that has not yet uh, has started to hurt you. And for that you, you need tools. Particularly you need to know about what time is, how time manifests minute by minute or second by second. Are you a, if you are an enlightened person, you can even go to the fractions of a second to find out what is going to happen to you and what can you do to reverse it. The earth plane is not all that bad, although there seems to be a lot of suffering, but then people don't understand the power within the earth plane, there are spots uh, or vortices on this plane that can help you to understand time. You go into this space, you can diffuse the slow time. The slow time is uh, the general problem of all human beings. We embrace slow time. We don't want things to happen now. We want things to happen later on, maybe a month later, years later. So that's the problem. So we have to kind of uh, reset our, our clock within our brain, within our DNA. You can change time, which is karma, through the space. So I'm not only giving you some theoretical understanding, but I actually take you to sacred spaces and give you uh, the tools that uh, will help you to change or reverse your karma. One of the reasons why I stay here in India, I just was 
there only for a week in the U.S. and then came back here very quickly because there has been so much happening in India when I come here that I'm able to connect with uh, forces, beings that give me a greater understanding so that I can do my job, which is to transform the world into a place of bliss, a plane of bliss, so that we don't have diseases, aging, disappointment, pain. These are all bad uh, programming with which we came into this earth plane. And it seems to be never ending. There is nobody that I have seen in this world who said his choice except some of the Siddhas. And they don't live in this world. They live in Himalayas and other mountains. But even a billionaire it goes through pain, psychological, emotional, financial. It's sad. So collectively, humanity needs to reverse their karma. The planet needs to do, uh, needs to go through this change. I'm very happy that it is taking place and I will share with you how you can create every day according to your wish, not according to the old karma. That is going to be the main focus for the birthday trip. It's a very uh, complex topic. But then I will simplify it to you and give you the tools so that you can you can do you can test for yourself how you can change today's karma or tomorrow's karma. I invite all of you to take this opportunity to be with me during the birthday trip. God bless.